guys welcome back to my channel so today i am filming a thrift with me in preparation for spring decorating so the last time i filmed a video that was th a thrift with me was back in the fall and you guys seem to really enjoy that video i just took you around a few different locations and gave you guys some ideas on things that you can find while thrifting and today i'm actually going into my favorite thrift store it is in my hometown and they just have a little bit of everything in here from antique and vintage finds to clothing and like I said, just a little bit of everything, but I'm actually going in here today to pick up a couple things for a friend and my mom as well, and I decided to film it because the last time I was in here, they were getting some spring and Easter decor out, so I just wanted to film this video, and hopefully it gives you some inspiration and just some ideas on things that you can find, but anyway, I will film a haul at the end of this video. Um, I will show you the items that I picked up for them, and then if I find anything for myself, I'll show you that as well, so stay tuned for that part of this video, but Anyway, let's go ahead inside and see what we can find. Okay, so before we get too far into this video, I do want to say I'm not going to be doing a voiceover for the entire video, as in I will not be doing a voiceover for every single item shown here, but I will on occasion let you guys know the reason for why certain pieces are in this video and kind of my ideas behind the piece itself. So just wanted to let you know that. Otherwise, just sit back, relax, and enjoy thrifting with me. If you guys remember watching my spring video from last year, I used one of those sugar molds as a centerpiece. I can have that video linked down below if you guys are looking for some inspiration on how to decorate a table for spring. So like I said, I'll have that link down below, but that was called a sugar mold if you did not know. And also the reason why I put these flags in here is because I remember last summer it seemed like a lot of people really liked the look of the tea or coffee stained flags to decorate with for summer. So I know that's not spring related. But I did want to throw that in here because those were only $1.25 a piece. these canisters I've had my eye on for a, quite a while now it seems like they are five dollars for the entire set of three which I think is crazy but the only reason I have not purchased them is because there is no seal to them so if you would be putting something inside that doesn't need to be kept fresh per se then those are perfect I think So this piece I added in because I think this would make for a really fun DIY if you painted that and you can use it as a vase or something along those lines. And this basket here, so this thing is huge, it is $10, and I think this would be so cute for spring if you filled it with florals because both sides of the basket does open on the top, and I thought that that was really unique. So 
so this basket here I also found to be really unique so it's actually wooden and as you can see it has tulips painted on the outside I think that this would be adorable for spring again if you filled it with florals and have it like hanging somewhere it would be really really cute so just an idea and I think this one was around $14 yep $14 As you guys can see this location has a ton of baskets all different styles all different shapes and sizes and honestly I think that they're really affordable So this is obviously more Christmas related, this sleigh, but I think this is really cute. It's like kind of old school. I think this would be adorable on a porch or something, or you could keep it inside your house if you wanted to as well when it comes to decorating for Christmas, but I thought that that was really unique as well. So this was really cute too. So this is like a kind of like a picnic basket. That's what it reminds me of for utensils. Um, so you could put floral arrangements in there if you wanted to, if you kind of wanted to make a statement that way. Um, maybe even put that as a centerpiece on a dining room table, or of course you can use it for its actual purpose with keeping utensils.
So at first when I saw this shelving unit, I didn't know if it was for sale or not, but it is. It is actually 125, so I'm actually really shocked by that, and that seems like something that would be a little higher, but you never know. If you guys are into the um, boho style, then I think that'd be a great piece. <laughs> said they obviously have tons and tons of baskets so this one is like the planter style as you can see it has the liner so that would be a really nice way to kind of revamp some plants if you have any laying around your house and you just want to switch out the planter that would be a really good way to do that <music> Okay, so my thought behind these mugs, I think these would be really cute sitting on floating shelves or using them as decor pieces. Obviously, you can use them as well. They're functional. They're coffee mugs. But um, I thought that the print on there it was really subtle and it wasn't too bright. So I think it just add the perfect touch of spring if you are looking to do that. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. showing this book in here is because I don't know if you knew this or not but just a little hack in a way that you can save some money if you like the corbel look like under um let's see like you can put them in like doorways or you can put them underneath of shelving and things like that like if you have like a bar area in your home um kind of like the one that we have in our dining room instead of actually buying corbels because those can be expensive um, you can buy bookends and just place those there. Kind of has the same effect, but it's definitely a fraction of the cost. So just an idea to throw out. little cards these are actually postcards and when I started looking at them more in detail they are really spring related they had some with carrots on them they had some with eggs on them um, I believe there was some floral patterns as well so if you like that vintage kind of postcard look just kind of throw those in in different areas in your home those would be really cute and like I said I think they were around two dollars a piece Okay, so that was fun. I thought that they had a lot of things in there. There are several things in there that I have my eye on and I've had my eye on them for a while, but I don't need to go in there and just buy everything. So I did grab one thing for myself um, and I'll show you guys that here in a second. And then I also got my friend her items as well. And I don't think I showed them in a clip. So um, this will be really fun to show you guys, but I have a box here. And I film on my phone, so FYI, this is gonna kind of be like pretty close up. But anyway, what I got her were these cute little baskets. So they are kind of like that boho style that, um, what's that called? I forget what the material's called, but anyway, um, they're like little bunny chargers. I don't know if she's gonna use them on her table or if she's gonna put them on a wall or what but these are super cute they were a set of three and they were three dollars a piece so she wanted me to pick those up for her so I got those and then I also got I think I did show this in the store but she also wanted me to pick up this little like ceramic bunny but it looks like 
moss like kind of cottagey looking and this one was I think it was like $12.95 or something like that so pick that up for her they did have another one left in there it was a little bit larger and I think it was around 15 so if you're local and you are interested in this piece they had one or more left but um anyway so those those items were for her and then on to what I got for myself so um eventually we are wanting to put some floating shelves in our kitchen um so hopefully sometime this year we will do a little bit of updating we're going to be putting some floating shelves in there so I've been kind of hunting around for just kind of unique pieces but also pieces that go in our home and that are functional you guys know I'm big on that I want to make sure that I can use the items that I'm purchasing um pretty much all year round so anyway they had this dish set I don't know if you can see like all the detail I think these are beautiful it came in a set of four so there's four of like the little teacups and then four saucers as well and for all of them it was eight dollars so basically a dollar per item but I think these will look really pretty and classy sitting on our um Floating shelves when we get those eventually so yeah so that was my only purchase for myself but this is one of my favorite places like I said they have so many great things all the time as you guys saw they had a ton of Easter in there so a lot of those things were new um, as far as like the Easter decor so I don't know if people just go shopping at other locations and then put them in their booth I'm not sure how that works but anyway um, I actually have my name on a waiting list at this particular location to hopefully have a booth of my own someday so who knows it could be a while because um, I guess all of the booths are taken at the moment which totally fine so in the meantime I've just been having fun thrifting for items that I could potentially put in my booth eventually so anyway pretty exciting and um, looking forward to that if and when that happens so we'll see but Anyway, if you guys enjoy these thrift with me's, I hope you give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new. Um, I I feel like my channel is pretty down to earth. I do a lot of thrifting, a lot of home inspiration, but it's all based around just simplicity and budget friendly everything. So we like to keep it, uh, like I said, budget friendly, but also as far as decorating our home, I like to keep it easy on the eyes and just do the less is more concept, if you will. So anyway um if all that sounds good to you i hope you consider subscribing and also be sure to hit that bell notification that way you are notified every time i post a new video so anyway like i said hope you guys enjoyed this thrifting and stay tuned for some more thrift with me's i like to go thrifting a lot so i need to start filming more but anyway um also one more thing before i go um my last video was actually a thrift haul and i'll leave that link down below if you want to check it out but all of the items that i purchased in that thrift haul were purchased at this specific store so anyway just wanted to let you know that so if you are local definitely need to head to your heart's desire in west frankfurt because they had a lot of really cute things so anyway um yeah i think that's all for today so i will let you guys go and i will see you in the next one bye guys